Construction details are the cornerstone of any good architectural project. And thanks to today's video sponsor, Rayon Design, I have 22 beautiful construction details to share with you guys right here, right now. As you can see, I have four construction details on my screen right now. Each of these, including all of the construction details I'm about to show you in this video, are down in the description below and you can get your copy completely free thanks to Rayon Design. But let's have a look at these details and let's discuss what makes them so important. Starting off with one of the most overlooked details and one we'll spend a little bit more time on later in the video, so make sure you stick around for that. This is obviously a construction retaining wall detail. It's depicting a European standard rather than Australian standard because Rayon, well, the European base, what Rayon has basically done for us is depicted the starting point for our construction detail. In this scenario, we have our concrete slab, which is also our turn down beam and our footings. And of course, we have our stone wall above acting as our retain wall. There are a few things I'd like to add to this, but we'll get to that in a minute. Generally speaking, this is an incredible starting point for an architectural detail. It depicts so many things that we either forget or need to remember when documenting. So for instance, this concrete slab is above an empty cavity. And generally, we may forget about our fireproofing, whereas Rayon has gone ahead and given us a direct annotation, so that automatically jogs our memory. Next, we have our construction detail for our foundation. Now, this is a double cavity brick wall. And generally speaking, the face brick here on the left and the blockwork internal leaf is almost similar to what we would do here in Australia. This precast beam with block fill in between is not something we commonly do here. Instead, it'd be a suspended concrete slab or it would be a suspended timber slab. But either way, it's a fantastic starting point on a very important construction detail. Like I said, we have 22 details to get through, so let's continue moving on. Next, we have a construction detail for roof design. Now, this isn't your generic roof design. This is more so intended. This is more so intended for a flat roof design where you can have some sort of gravel screed layer above. The one thing that's missing from this in comparison to Australian standards is of course our UV protection membrane. We have our proof membrane, which is generally waterproofing, but in Australia, the sun is incredibly harsh. So if we're ever doing one of these designs, we need to think about our UV protection as well as everything that goes on top. Now, if we wanted to replace this section here in the middle, change that hatch, we could easily come across the right-hand side, like I've talked about in previous videos, and simply change that hatch from squares to concrete, and there we go. We've got a sloping concrete roof very quickly, but just fine tuning some minor details. Last but not least in this drawing pack, we have our roof and gutter detail. Generally speaking, no matter where you are in the world, a tiled roof is very, very similar. The overall concept works extremely well, regardless of where you are. We of course have our roof covering, which is our tiles in this depicted scenario. We have our placing strips, which in Australia are referred to as furring channels or battens. Our ventilation layer, which becomes critically important in the new national construction code here in Western Australia for condensation management. As we increase our standards and the world becomes better and smarter at technology and design, our homes are becoming better insulated. And as a result, they're acting as eskies and insulators. So we need to worry about condensation management, which is what the ventilation layer is for. The last two elements are our top platform and our granular cork, which in Australia we don't typically use at all. We would instead have some sarking or some anticon as insulation. Once again, that Australian sun is way harsher than what the European standards are. There are a few other elements that are slightly different in the European standards than they are in the Australian standards. So for instance, if this were a truss as it is depicted, the bottom cord of the truss would be similar to this red dashed line as opposed to up the top here. We wouldn't need this cement block at all. So let's go ahead and delete that. And instead the truss would be sitting on a timber plate. Now how we detailed that again becomes critically important. Do we drag it in? Do we lift that brickwork up and angle cut every single one to make sure we have this seamless finish it's all about those architectural details that we have to think about when we're documenting real world, high-end architectural projects. And like I said, this is a great starting point regardless of where you are around the world. Let's continue moving through to some of my favorite details. 
These are what make some of my designs my designs. And Rayon has been able to emulate a green roof for a planter box in perfect detail. So if you've ever seen one of my designs on Instagram, you've seen something that you love, there is a good chance the construction detail is very, very similar to this. There are a couple things in this detail that are incredibly important and what people tend to fail on site with when they're doing planter boxes. First of all, the drainage is critically important. You can't just build a concrete slab down here at the bottom, have an upturned concrete beam, like in this scenario, and then dump a whole bunch of soil on top. All that you're gonna get in a very short period of time is mold, structural cracking, and of course, water problems. So instead, what we have to focus on is our drainage. We have to focus on our waterproofing membrane that goes in to our drainage section all the way down as per our standards and all the way up. We need to waterproof the back of this concrete wall as well as cap it to prevent it from any additional water damage all the way through. So if you've never done a planting detail, this is an incredibly great start. Additionally, we have our concrete green roof ventilated construction detail which is more in line with how we design here in Australia. This ventilation detail basically allows the planter to breathe to ensure it's never blocked from any of the soil or the roots. Now, when you have it in this scenario here, anti-root membranes are one of the most important elements because otherwise the roots are gonna find their way into this drain, block it, and then you're back to square one. So that's why this blown up detail here from Rayon is incredible. It'll make sure that all of your designs stand the test of time rather than failing the second you draw them. Before we continue with any more construction details, if you're new here, firstly, thank you so much for joining me. My name's David Tomich. I'm a registered architect here in Western Australia. And this video is all about Rayon design if you haven't clicked already. Rayon is completely free to try, and if you want, it's down in the description below. Moving on to something that's relevant everywhere around the world. Of course, we have our windows in both section and plan view. Now, we have two different options here in front of us. We have two casement windows depicted down here on the bottom plan view. And if you're not following what's happening here, the sectional window is being bolted onto the side of the brickwork wall, and this black line around the entire perimeter is depicting that there is either some sort of plasterboard or render all the way around. So anybody going out to construct this would know exactly what they need to do. Now, if we look at the sectional detail, there are a few things critically wrong with this. And first of all, it's the three millimeter plasterboard. There is no such thing as three millimeter plasterboard in Australia that is gonna stand the test of time outside. That is going to be a three millimeter render. And realistically, that's an acrylic texture coat, multiple layers of waterproofing behind, but that's getting it way too deep for this window detail. We're just talking about the simple fact that there's render on the outside, this is a brick construction house, and we have a beautiful timber sill down the bottom. A couple of additional annotations would be fantastic on this sectional detail because it will allow us to understand where our plasterboard is. Is this a timber or aluminum window? But these are all things that you guys can add as you're using the Rayon template. Similarly, this construction detail is more in line with what I was just talking about. We have our plasterboard detailed on the outside, but instead of having a grand reveal on the internal, we've centrally aligned our window. Now here in Australia, we do that wherever we have a cavity. It's our cavity closer, basically, in any double brick construction. So this is a very typical detail, except underneath it's not block work, it's a double leaf. But in this scenario, we do have more details that can allow the builders on site to understand what our architectural intent is. Continuing to move forward, of course, Rayon provides us with some excellent stair details. Stairs are one of the most time-consuming elements to do construction details for. Why? Well, because there is so much to detail. Stairs are not simple things, regardless of how you might think about them. As architects, it's our job to detail every idea that we have and execute them perfectly so that those constructing on site can execute it perfectly. We don't wanna leave any room for ambiguities. So something like this provides our stair floor plan, basically indicating exact sizing. That's relatively simple. Next, we have a full sectional detail through showcasing how our stairs rise between floors. Simple enough, but critical to make sure everything is correct. If I've learned anything in the last 10 years of my career, it's make sure that your markers on your staircases are perfectly right. You never want a builder to build the wrong level just where the stairs are. This is one of the most critical elements in the entire project because generally stairs are fire stairs that people need to escape 
So it could be the difference between life or death. But we're going way too dark. Let's come back in to the prettier elements of our architectural stairs. Our stair nosings are one of the elements that are defined by the National Construction Code here in Australia. How we detail them needs to comply, but also how we detail them in what material is completely up to us. Do we want them to be a steel stringer finish with a concrete and metal pan tread? Or do we want them to be beautiful timber stairs? Do we want them to be cast in concrete? All of these elements we didn't think about when we're detailing our stairs. Similarly, the handrail detail is critical as is the balustrade detail. So all of these elements we need to think about regardless if there's a standard or not. Yes, there is a standard even in Australia for the spacing between balustrades, basically to prevent children from getting their head stuck between. But as long as we're compliant with that code, we can manipulate this to suit exactly our vision. And if we wanna take things to a next level, of course, we have winding staircases that wrap around in a curve, such as this stair detail here. We have a beautiful timber post and rails that would be used more in heritage scenarios. And the most complicated of all, a elegant concrete spiral staircase. You can do it in concrete, you can do it in steel, however you do it, it is going to be expensive, it is going to be incredible, and this is an art piece that you wanna spend some time on. Moving on to our second last detail pack from Rayon, and we have our construction details for our bifolding doors, our metal double doors, our wooden doors, and of course, a handle detail. Once you've drawn these details exactly how you like them, you're never going to have to draw them again. And that's one of the best things about creating a construction detail package. Once you have all of these elements, like the door handles, the door jams, the sizing of the metal plates in the glass perfected, then you're going to be able to replicate them time and time again, saving you thousands of hours over hundreds of projects. So if you take nothing else from this video, make sure you grab a copy of these doors, adjust them perfectly to your standards, and then never look at them again and just publish them to go with your new construction set. Of course, making sure they still comply every time you do. The final piece in our construction drawing package of beautiful architectural details from Rayon are some of the most utilized around the world. Everywhere we design, we have a construction floor, we have a flat roof, and we have all things in between. So using this floor detail as a starting point and adjusting to your site needs, your engineering requirements, and of course your architectural finishes inside is a great way to document your project. Similarly is the flat roof construction detail here on the top left, the roof construction detail on the bottom left, and of course, the window construction detail on the bottom right. But like I said at the start of this video, all of these details are predominantly favoring the European market. So let's go back to detail pack one and the very first construction detail in the package. Let's see how and what we need to do to adjust this to meet Australian standards. Let's switch over to the iPad and detail this and then move back to Rayon. First of all, we can see up the top here, we have a 300 millimeter stonework wall, which stops directly in line with the earth. What really needs to happen is that needs to come back down and we should have a minimum of 50 millimeters between the top of our wall and our earth. This helps any water flow naturally drain away from our site in conjunction with, of course, a one degree fall. Next, we wanna make sure that the, the top of our wall is capped by either a stone capping or a metal capping to prevent any water and moisture coming down into that wall. Moving on, this backfill with drainage material is not enough of a detailed note here in Australia to successfully waterproof this site. The first thing we need to focus on is of course an ag drain down the bottom here. So if we introduce an ag drain like we see here, it's basically a free flowing pipe with some roof membrane wrapped around it in a loose flowing gravel surface or concreted in. After that, of course, we want to have our waterproofing membrane that comes all the way down and wraps around our footings. This waterproofing membrane becomes a waterproofing membrane up the wall and a vapor barrier below. It stops the vapor coming through the slab and into our site. After that waterproofing membrane, we need to have our protection board to protect the waterproofing membrane from any roots or anything that's coming through. Then we put our drainage membrane in front of the protection board. So any water coming downhill or naturally coming through the ground is going to find its way away from this problem area. And last but not least, we end with our fabric filter, which wraps around our drainage board, comes all the way down, stays in the earth, and then finishes below ground. Everything above that small section of filter fabric obviously drains away one degree, like we said before. If we move back into rayon and unhide all of our layers, 
we can see that information we've just discussed brought into rayon in a matter of seconds. We have our capping up the top. We make sure our soil falls away 1%. We've detailed our backfill with drainage material significantly more, annotating our waterproofing, protection board, drainage cell, and so on. There are a few other things obviously critically wrong with this for Australian design, but our starting point is here. We can adjust, move, change, and make it work exactly how we need it to. Anyway, that is all for me today, team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. And like always, I'll see you next week.